Hi, in this tutorial we will show how to orient to three modules onto a freeform surface. You can have an input surface with any type of parameterization as, as you can see from the direction of the isocurves. If you use the traditional divide surface by domain number in this case, then you will get a variable spacing between the grid points. Let's try and orient a module onto that surface to see the result. Now you can use PT Orient to Grid, select your module and select the four reference points, base, X, Y, and a fourth point to deform. Select your grid and select the surface and press enter. And then you will see your module deformed or to get oriented on the destination surface. Now, as you can see, the um, the module is uh, deformed quite a bit and uh, there is a big variation of the sizes of your uh, module. Another approach is to offset a curve on surface with a specific distance, let's say 35 units in this case. Run your uh, PT grid U curves uh, now divide by number to ensure uh, equal number of cells all around your surface. In this case, we chose 20. Run the uh, PT Orient to Grid command again. Select your module, the four reference points, your destination grid, and surface. Now, as you can see, the, the modules uh, look almost equal in size. Suppose you want to populate a, a smaller module in between these uh, modules. You can extract the center grid and use that to populate the smaller module. Change the color and make sure it's grouped so you can distinguish from the other grid. Now run PT Orient to Grid command again to populate the smaller module onto the center grid. Select the module, the X, Y, and the fourth reference point. Select your grid and press enter. Now make sure that the orientation is matching between the module and the destination. As you can see, we've got to select the surface so uh, the module was not moved right onto the surface. We also are missing uh, some uh, modules along the seam. To be able to fix that, we need to um, add a, an additional row of points to close the grid to be able to populate all around it. PT close grid will help us wrap these points and have enough grid points to be able to populate along the seam. Now make sure you have uh, the correct uh, overlapping and uh, starting index for your modules and in the right direction. As you can see, we actually have two points here and instead of one to show that we actually have a closed uh, grid. Uh, as you can see, the indices of the points right before or after the um, seam points only one point there. 
So this is what we needed to create to be able to create a fully wrapped around paneling. Pretty orient to grid again and select your module, start x, y and fourth point, select your grid, make sure this time to also select the surface. As you can see we have created the desired pattern to wrap around uh, the whole surface using two different modules and two grids. Thank you.